Hey everyone, I'm Rather Incoherent, and as I've just finished building the scaffolding for my base, it's impressive, isn't it? It has shadows on the ocean floor like a reef back. And while I was out and about, I'm going to get fish right now, some materials for batteries before I start the video properly. I noticed there's just a time capsule on the ground right here. There's also like a piece of a cyclops over here somewhere that I'd missed. You gave me a stasis rifle? I ain't gonna look a gift horse in the mouth, I'm kind of upset about it. As you can see, I have literally no batteries, so I'm having to do the battery juggling game to scan this at all. So, I'm gonna go back to gathering food, and more specifically, shale, before I start the video properly. I just wanted to open that on camera in case it was something ridiculous, which it turned out it was. Wait a second, do I have a new auction tank on me? Good. What did you say when you gave me a stasis rifle? I consider that bad, bad behavior. You should not give people stasis rifles. I don't think I disagree with that too much. I think it's just like a very different opinion on game philosophy. It's just not okay to give people stasis rifles. Wait, real quick. <laughs> give me your battery. All right, we're, we're, stop, we're throwing the stasis rifle on the ground, but I'll take the battery. Like, I gave me a 92% charge battery. He didn't even put a new battery in it. He just threw the stasis rifle I had it on himself in the capsule. That's kind of funny. Gotta be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of how the lighting harshly shifts right there. That part of the base could be improved a little bit, but it's sort of out of my hands. And in our new base, you can see I've got a slightly more organized, better central room. Right now, everything is legitimately just straight lines to exits. We're going to make it much more elaborate and more interesting in the future. But for now, we just needed this thing to be set up for our future plans. But the best news is that we are finally double cooking. No longer are we using a single fabricator limited strictly by power. Now we can do ridiculous stuff like this. I didn't realize just how large the ribbon rays were. I guess I should have cooked them instead of the other fish because they take up the most space. I'll make a note to do that next time I cook. So, now that my base is assembled, everything's here, the old base is torn down, we have a beacon, we have double fabricators, we have storage. We need batteries. I might not have been okay with that guy who gave me his battery, or his stasis rifle, but I was okay with the battery he gave me because I'm fresh out of them these days. I need shale. I need shale to make lithium batteries. And my options for that are mushroom forest, but I've already done most of the mushroom forest shale, and the mountain. Boys, it's time for another riveting trip to the mountain. Let's refill our oxygen tanks. It's gonna go wonderfully. Oh man, I, I'm not looking forward to it, to be honest. That Reaper has me stressed. He could be anywhere. Actually, before I go, I've just remembered something I have the ability to make now. I picked up a compass by accident a while ago. I'm sure I'm able to make that. I'd be surprised if I couldn't. Okay, so previously I turned off Easy Craft's ability to build components automatically for me because it really impacted the power in the early game. Power is no longer a concern. I'm turning it back on because I love how convenient it is. So heading back over to mods and going down to Easy Craft, we are turning on Auto Craft. And now we're going to go to personal equipment and it's going to make the compass for me. And yes, the power it consumes is very wrong, but also power is just not a genuine concern I have at this point. Now the integrated air filter requires polyaniline and synthetic fibers. That means we have to go to the blood kelp. But once we get that, we can breathe surface air. And holy shit, does that sound nice. But unfortunately, we can't build it now, so mountains it is, right? Yeah, 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 gross, hate it. But we have a sea glide and that's all we really need. Is my inventory clear? It is. I should carry more than one first aid kit with me, but I just believe. I think I'm going with like a completely empty inventory. There's nothing else I want. I'm just here for shale. Oh, wait a second. Would it be better to go to the blood kelp now? Because that means that the surface air would be breathable and then I could walk around the mountain uninhibited instead of suffocating like last time. Yeah, I should go to the blood kelp instead. That's a way better plan. It's gonna be a bit of a trek because I'm gonna be going to the southwestern blood kelp for these resources. The Northwestern Blood Kelp is a little bit closer, it's still quite far away. But the Northwestern Blood Kelp kind of, uh... Let's just say it's a lot more dangerous? 
there is a gulper somewhere at the southwestern blood kelp that's actually really important i don't really know where they are because they despawned in my first game pretty immediately but they do exist my impression was that they were fairly far down the trench at least towards the middle if i just go to the very first part i should be fine so yeah we're gonna go all the way down to here we have to cross i'd say that's about yeah that's about a kilometer it's not too bad though Anyway, I'll see you once we're approaching. I've had a lot of swimming by hand and a lot of refilling by pump. I won't be using my sea glide because I only have 80% power. I will run out. And one obvious thing that would be a very good thing to do about now would be to go to the floating island, right? If you go to the floating island, you can get unlimited food. You could get the stasis rifle fragment yourself. There's lots of good things on the floating island. However, the floating island has a very slight issue in that a gulper leviathan lives below it. You notice that every time I talk about maybe what something is a good idea, I follow it up with de-extinction shits on that because it put predatory leviathans there. I really appreciate de-extinction because it makes the game so much less clear what I should be doing. Okay, LifePod 17 is actually perfect. It's just directing me to like clearly where I need to be. Really appreciating that. The sunset's kind of beautiful though, isn't it? I don't spend very much time on the surface of the water, and usually if you're above water, the game's hideous because you're looking at the ground and the ground's terrible. But the skybox and the lighting and the water are all great, and there's no ground involved right now, so... It's just a very pretty game when you're out in the open water. And then you look beneath the water, and even if you know you're in a safe biome, it stresses you out immediately. Still very pretty down here, though. Now, even though I got the beacon for LifePod 17 relatively recently, I'm pretty sure that I came here by accident much earlier. I think this is the one that has the Seamoth Fragments, which, yeah, I got those ages ago. What am I doing? I'm going to Blood Kelp. I need to gather as much as I can to start my farms. Oh, I can't farm. I guess I'll just get like one extra of each for later when I can. I'm not going to the fucking floating island. That sounds incredibly scary. Anyway, yes, I've been to this life pod. I just haven't been playing their PDAs this game. It just hasn't been a thing I've been worried about. At some point, I'll play all of their PDAs during a big crafting video, or a big gathering video, or a big base building, whatever. Not too specific about it. But for now, nah, I'm just, I'm just playing the game, not too worried about listening to them again. I've listened to them all very recently. My big concern right now is, um, I can't actually grow things. Oh, I could go to, uh, I could go to the Jelly Shroom Caves. There's one down there. They have exterior grivets there, if I remember correctly. <sighs> Man, would I not feel safe doing this near a Gulper Leviathan. Is that the floating island? No, I have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's most definitely not the floating island. There's like a little bit of glowy lights at the very... Oh, it's a jelly ray swimming around. Fair enough. So we want to go, like, directly southwest... This really shouldn't be dangerous, but no one ever feels safe in the Blood Kelp. Even in the safe, quote-unquote, safe parts of the Blood Kelp. Like, it's just not a friendly-looking biome. The best-case scenario is there are warpers and crab squids trying to kill you. That's the good version. Just a particularly angry sounding reef I got nothing to be afraid of. Alright. At this point, I'm going to take this out because moving quickly is of the essence. I need four deep mushrooms and as many blood oil as I can carry. Ow! Immediately, ow! Shit. So I haven't reloaded my save a single time, but I feel like things may be duplicating all the same since, you know, the immediate pile of twist deals. Okay, that's a lot of blood oil. I still need deep shrooms. I actually cannot carry this much blood oil. I need deep shrooms now. Hi there! Are you okay? Are you having a good day? What about you, Mr. Twistiel? Is everyone having fun down here? There's a... Uh, okay, that's either four or five Twistiels, huh? And a Warper and an Ampule. Those aren't duplicating. I suddenly have the sneaking suspicion that maybe Twistiels duplicate whenever they, like... I, I don't know. That clear... Is that how you're supposed to be there? In other biomes, they seemed normal. And then I went down there, and it's like, here's all of the Twistiels. Which I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't particularly appreciate... But we are alive. Nothing killed us. And that's just great. That's fantastic. 
We continue heading straight east and we go down into the Degasi Caves and we scan everything there to get a grow bed. I'm pretty sure that works. I'm pretty sure there are exterior grow beds in the Jelly Shroom Caves. In fact, I know for a fact they are. The question is just, are they next to my pipe system or on the other side? And I can't remember that one for the life of me. I just realized, I don't know how many stasis rifles I was supposed to scan to unlock the recipe. Like, I legitimately have no idea. I think I scanned one the first time I went down into the Jelly Shroom Caves. I think I got a stasis rifle down there, so during editing I can find out. But that's kind of important so that I know when I'm allowed to build my own stasis rifle. I got really thrown off by having unlocked the blueprint way, way ahead of schedule, because I don't want it right now. If I had the stasis rifle right now, I'd be free to do a lot of things that I should not feel safe doing, because I shouldn't have a stasis rifle. I really don't want to drop pumps right now. I just don't quite know how far away I really am from my destination. Could you not, please? Why are you like this? I think we're close enough to Jelly Shroom that we're going to be fine. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fine. I can see the pipes, actually. There we go. I like how perfectly straight it is. I'm shocked I did it that well. Usually there are all sorts of catawakas and janky and moving around. Oh, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? No, it's not. You're dead in one head. I'm going to keep my eyes out because there are predators around. Sand sharks will be a big issue, but biters are really not that bad. The bigger issue is that I'm out of first aid kits. Hey, Mr. Sand Shark, could you fuck right off? I got a hit on him. Or he killed the biter, I'm not sure which. I really wish this pipe system went further down, man. Oh, frame drops when I switch those oxygen takes for some reason. I'm out, I'm done. That's good enough. Now, we need a grow bed. It's kind of non-negotiable. Wait, where's the sea base? Oh, it's under his jelly shroom. Nice, 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 nice. Look, man, I'm not doing nothing to you. You're not doing nothing to me, okay? Yeah, I didn't think either was going to hold true to that. The grow bed's not on this part. That's so unfortunate. Is there an interior one, maybe? Because that would still be helpful. No, I can see all the multi-purpose rooms through here, and there's not one. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Well, I'll save these for later when I can grow stuff. I have enough to build what I need for now. And we're not going to worry about getting air here. I've got another tank that's full. I'm just going to leave. We're going back to home and getting the ability to breathe the surface here. All right, we can make one benzene and we can make a hydrochloric acid as well. Uh, why am I doing it this way? I, I can just come down here and do it, right? Yeah, I just need to take off my compass. Integrated air filter, we're done. Hold up. Take out this battery, put it in this, build a celebratory garbage can, and throw this garbage, not that, not that, give me that back, throw this garbage away. Oh, we are done with pumps and pipes, finally. Now, interestingly, all of my icons have gone away even though they're still bound, like I, you saw me switching them, it just, I have two habitat builders somehow. I'm not sure when that happened. Oh, I got a repair tool and a habitat builder alongside the stasis rifle. That's what it is. Well, I'm gonna take these, not that it really matters. And I'll throw the other ones in the garbage. Oh man, I have a weirdly large amount of inventory space now. I was just looking at my hotkeys, wondering what on earth I was supposed to do with these last two. There, we can just bind our tools that previously weren't bound. That seems perfectly reasonable. 
Open these, use one of them, figure out where my stuff is. I know med kits and food are in these somewhere. Okay, I need a second med kit at least. I'm gonna take a third and fourth med kit even. I am spooked over here. We need to cook some ribbon rays, see what they are. How do you compare to other foods? Well, I guess I'm about to check and say. They are really damn good. Uh, not great sources of water, but absolutely fantastic once you cook them. Our water situation is getting a good bit worse than it used to be, but we're fine. In retrospect, I really should have just, like, not eaten at all because I'm going to the mountain. What am I doing? It's fine. We're almost to the point where food is a non-issue. Almost. <sighs> Alright, we need to get shale. We need to get a lot of shale, which means we need to go to the mountain. We can... Uh, let me just go to the surface of the water and breathe the air for a second. That sounds wonderful. Oh my god, I can just breathe this now? Oh, you can breathe! It's amazing! <laughs> What's the second take you in for now? Why do I need to? Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. I'm gonna keep the second take on me because I don't want to drown. That seems like a very possible thing to do. But man, that feels like progress. All right, the real concern we have now is we have no idea where the hell the Mountain Reaper is. Like, they could actually be anywhere, and visibility is complete trash. That's completely unfair! Just get out the water, 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 just go, 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 go. He was just like fucking directly vertical, keeping his head above the water. What was that? Can I? Am I safe? What's happening? Is he just gonna come up here? Can he be stopped? What if he just comes up here? I'm not convinced he can be stopped. I don't feel like I've done anything. Hopefully, this cave system leads in to where I want to be. If nothing else. There's lithium in here. And shale. And, oh man, I, I don't know. I've never seen a reaper carry it. Dude, reapers is a hole this run. I don't even get it. I've got no theories. All right, look, guy, guy, guy. First, I can't see anything. Let me throw this down. You've decided that you need to be dead. I don't know why you've decided this, but this is why I brought a million first aid kits. How dare you? Okay. Now, I believe we were here for shale. Is that the situation we're in? Yes. Right now, though, honestly, number one on the priority bucket is just figuring out how on earth to get out of here alive. Um, I can't outrun reapers. Like, that's not a thing I can do. I can't position around them because if I hadn't been watching the wall there, I would have been dead. If I hadn't just been acting under the assumption they were going to phase the wall, he would have killed me. I've got nothing. I don't know what to do about these Reapers, man. At least I'm finding plenty of shale. That's really helpful. Like, this is exactly what I wanted when I came here. I didn't know this cave even existed. Like, I'm sure it connects to the other caves somewhere, but I've got no idea where or how. Oh, hey. Look at that. Purple tablet. Inventory full. You know what? If this is a place... Where am I? What on earth is this? Is this where I normally climb up? No. I have no idea where I am. This place is so weirding me out. Alright, this place isn't what's weirding me out. I know what's weirding me out. It's not this place. It is very much the Reaper and his lack of clipping. Uh, let's grab this tablet. There's no reason to be here looking for stuff anymore. That's where I'd normally climb up. If I had a repulsion cannon, I could ride the bird away. Fortunately, I do not have a repulsion cannon, so I cannot fly away. Apparently, I should be keeping one with me. Honestly, the best way to get to that island would probably be for to fly from this island, wouldn't it? Okay, okay, wait, no, I can figure this out, I can figure this out. I know where he went into the water, right? I saw him clip out of the mountain. 
He was attacking me just past this, just before this point. He was around there. So presumably, I can just run very far along these paths in the opposite direction and see glide directly away, and I should be safe. But just like run all the way over here, I should be good, right? I would like to get further up. Okay, can I can I go further away than this? Not really. God, I feel so fucking uncomfortable with this. I kind of just want to, like, walk back to where I was previously and just, like, go in the water and listen for the... He could just be inside the mountain next to me. I can't look around and be safe. Oh, it's so gross. This Reaper is not playing fair, man. Let's just eat some Bulbo fruit while we think on it. All right, look, game, come on. The diamonds are taking me away. I don't know why they're all running in this direction. It's kind of weird. Okay, we're at full water. That doesn't help me feel better. All right, welcome to Sweatsville. There's nothing to be done. I'm only thinking about one thing. Should I walk somewhere else near the surface of the water and wait for a while to see if he's like... Because I know when I go up there, the Reaper's always waiting for me, right? In the bottle. So maybe he knows where I am and he's waiting for me here, too. So maybe I should, like, pull him some... He's faster than me by so much. What am I even talking about? Let's go. Let's do it. I don't see him yet. According to the lore, he sees me. Warper's pissed. Don't see the Reaper. I think we got away clean. Okay. Okay. Let's never do that without a vehicle again. I don't know how possible that is. The quest for batteries just is not going well. Like, I guess we got them. Mission accomplished. Good job, team. Um, I don't know. I'm going to check, like, my clip maps file and see if I've accidentally turned collision off or something somehow. The world feels impossibly unsafe right now, and I don't really know why. I know I need more storage, I'm just not sure like what the best way to do it is, so for now we're doing this very terrible temporary storage. I'm just throwing a bunch of lockers here. It sucks, it's kind of terrible, but we just need something. I need to go get silicon rubber, and I need to go get salt, so I'll let this play while I do. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good. No good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Almost have a scanner room. Whoa. <laughs> I feel like I am just really cynical right now. Everything feels so small and unimportant compared to the fucking no-clip reapers. Like, what tech in the game makes me feel safe versus reapers with no-clip? This is such a bad situation, and I don't know why it's happening. And honestly, I don't even think it's mods or my st or my settings tweaks. I don't think it's anything like that. I think Tomnotic is just sometimes a really buggy game, and that's what we're encountering here. Between videos, I will absolutely be looking at my file tweaks, but right now I'm actually still playing the same single session from video one. So I'm not gonna save and quit because of fears with the extinction, although having seen that absolutely vicious pack of twist steals in the blood kelp, maybe that bug's been fixed and there's just certain areas. No, cause filters have definitely been duplicating in my other game. So I do wanna save and quit as little as possible. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, we need to make these into... No, we don't. We don't need to do that anymore. We can just go straight to this and make the lithium batteries. I should make lithium cells now, because literally every battery I have is dead. That's actually a really, really strong point. 
I need five of these to unlock FCS Studios. So if I can make five of them right now, then I should. And I think I can, honestly. I have used so many batteries. Oh, wait, shit. Uh, this will auto-craft batteries. I need to make sure it's pulling dead ones. There are still three left in there. We're good. All right, so we have five power cells. I think it actually remembers their charge. Oh, it doesn't. Well, nice. I was expecting it to remember their charge now. I don't know why I thought that happened. But more importantly, we can just make some normal lithium batteries because we desperately need that. And I'm pretty sure we need to go get more. Yeah, we are fresh out of silicon rubber now. Water full, food full, health full. Full batteries, actually full. For the first time in a very, very long time, it sort of feels like we're not struggling in Death Run. We actually just have a base with power, our tools with power. We don't have a Seamoth yet. I think we're in a good way into episode 5 right now, if I remember correctly, and we don't have a Seamoth. So I guess at the very least, we should go try to find out what that's about. I think getting a Seamoth is a really good goal for the time being, because it gives me a safety net against Leviathans. Will losing a Seamoth be absolutely catastrophic? Yes, terribly. I would hate it so much. But I wouldn't be dead. And that's what I'm weighing it against right now. So let's go figure out how to make a Seamoth. Just by accident, we've already gotten substantially into the Seamoth and the scanner room. So let's continue on. Let's actually do the wrecks in this area of the grassy plateaus. That seems like a very, very good way to get a Seamoth. And once we have a Seamoth, I think... Maybe even now. Maybe before we get the Seamoth. I don't know. I want to get the Seamoth either way. That's for sure. Hmm. I feel like I want to go start FCS Studios, though. Oh my god, we can do interior planting now. We don't have to get actual exterior grow beds, or uh, the big interior grow beds, rather. We can just plant them in small quantities inside now. Why didn't I bring any Bulbo seeds back with me to save at some point? What's wrong with me? So while I've been cutting through this door, I've had time to think, and I've decided that I do really want to start FCS Studios. I want the sea malt. that's also very true. There's a lot of things I want, just generally speaking. But the Seamoth I won't, I feel, for very good reasons. Oh, this is not charged. We gotta go. We gotta go. We're done here. That's some real ominous creaking that ship is doing, but it's fine. It's such a big base. Like, it sucks right now. It's just, it's just three straight lines that are like ten tiles each, but... Eventually, I have a lot of plans for how to flesh these out, where to place things, how it's going to be much, much cooler. You'll see, I promise. So I'm able to make the modification station. That just seems like a thing I should probably do. That seems incredibly sensible. And let's see what we can actually make immediately. I'm sure we can do the thermoblade. That's, yeah, that's nothing. We can make these lightweight. That will let us move faster. I don't think that's even worth doing. I need to take off my fins and get some silicon rubber. Pretty sure I've already got the silicon rubber. I do not, but that's fine. Easy to solve. Alright, now we can make our Ultra Glide fins. We already made the Thermoblade. Let's go ahead and rebind to that to six. Get our fins back on so now we can swim faster. That's going to be very helpful for us feeling a little bit less dead in the water. Very literally in this case. Alright, getting right back into this wreck. Hi, Stalker. Are you also exploring the wreck? Please leave me alone. Now, unironically, even though I would normally have literally no interest in a propulsion cannon, the ability to use a bird and fly across the map actually seems like it might be of relevant interest to me. That honestly could make me safer in more meaningful ways than I had previously imagined it might have. This is just a trick, though. Not much reason to be down here, but this is reason to do. Even if it's just titanium, I love titanium. That's still titanium, it's still something. Game? Alright. Hard hitch there. Vehicle upgrade console. That's something I'm interested in. So is this. That's very good. Halfway to a battery charger. More titanium. 
So we want to keep doing these Grass Plateau Rex until we get the battery charger. Could take us a while, I'm going to be honest. And it looks like we got to go out the long way. There's a bunch of things that show you the inside, but no clear way to it. That's fine. And I think the stalker in this room is... Oh, wait, no, there actually is stuff in this direction. I can't believe I actually want a propulsion cannon. I'm almost upset with myself. Do I not have these? Oh, I got the basic plant pot in the other room. Fair enough. All right, let's see where this goes. It's not going to be fun. Vents never are. Oh, we're done. Nice. That takes out. I was wondering how big a wreck could be. It's such a big base. It's ridiculous. It's going to take me so long to flesh this out, but I mean, it's the whole point of the playthrough, right? This isn't like what my base should be now. This is what my base will eventually grow into. It's going to take a while to do it, but it's going to happen. For now, though, because it is actually up in the air, I gave up on getting the moon pools oriented correctly. That is actually how I think I want the moon pools oriented. That's that's fantastic, honestly. If I build it here, we'll try to connect to the right. Because I don't want it to. I want it to connect to the main area. I need lead. That checks out. I've been throwing lead on the ground for a very long time. Because I just haven't had storage handled. Let's throw everything we have in lockers and go search for, of all things, sandstone. For the first time all session, it's time to actually look for sandstone and more specifically, somehow, for lead. Oh, I yes, I built these. That's why. I built the supports. I built the foundations. That's why I'm out of lead. I have no idea what caves I have and haven't been in around here. I know I've been in that one. I was expecting to fail there, but I feel like there are more caves? Maybe not. Maybe that's kind of it. Oh, that's the mountain. We're done. We're leaving. We don't want to be here. I always forget how incredibly close my home is to the mountain. Like, that's only about 200 meters from Reaper territory. That's sketchy. I don't like that at all. Is my other tank empty right now? Yeah, let's just stop in the base for a second and come up with a better plan of action for where to find sandstone. Like in the grass plateaus, for instance. My base is so large, I don't know which wreck it was. I think these two are a compound wreck and that's what I did. Regardless, we're about to head over and make sure that we've marked off the correct things, do some more wrecks, and more importantly, just look around for sandstone, because there is tons of it in this area of the grass plateaus. I've been looking at it and being sad it wasn't limestone for a while while I collected my titanium. So, this is the compound wreck. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, it's the funny tiger plant one. I will always take more titanium. Apparently, there was a stalker in here building a nest. Get wrecks. Oh, we can go down to that funny cave now. We have a rebreather. We have two oxygen tanks with 90 capacity. We can absolutely try that out. Not quite there yet, but we're making progress. I don't really know where the funny cave is. I think it's actually right here. I think this... Like, this doesn't look like it's a cave, but I think it's a hole under it. Is that correct? Yeah. All right, what do we have in here? Sandstone is precisely who I wanted to see for once. Honestly, this appears to be generally quite resource rich. I'm seeing everything from the early game around here. Oh, hey, tiger plants. It's good to see you, too. Biters and sand sharks and stalkers and tiger plants. If it's early game and hostile, it's in here. I would count, uh, what are they called? Drooping stingers? I would count those as early game and hostile, too. This is a very interesting cave. It doesn't appear to go anywhere. It just looks like it's a deep area filled with resources, which, like, sign me up. I, I love those. Excuse me, you were in the wall! <laughs> he hits kind of hard, though, doesn't he? Oh, man. That is not how I thought my first brush with death would go, but considering the rest of the run, I'm not sure why it surprises me. How's this O2 tank doing? Thank God. We've got to be pretty close, yep, to a full inventory. But we have lead, and we have enough lead for our goals, whatever they were, I forgot why we need lead. 
I'm actually going to switch off of um, full map view now and go over to Fog of War. The reason for that is it lets me see where I've actually been. For instance, there are no wrecks in here with Fog of War off because wrecks are still shown once you find them as though Fog of War were in play. So by turning Fog of War off, I get a better understanding of where I've really been and what I'm really doing. Okay, moon pool completed. You know you're supposed to connect to something, right? Like we can debate until the end of time what you were supposed to connect to. But I feel like it's sort of without question that you were supposed to connect to something. There we go. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah, I, I love that moon position. It means I can put another moon pool over here symmetrical to it. That'll be one will be prawn suit, one will be seamoth. It'll be perfect eventually. And while I'm doing this, I may as well build the vehicle upgrade console. Things are just all sorts of out of order because we haven't even locked the seamoth yet, but we have a fully decked out moon pool. Deathron is still just really messing with our build orders here. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Seamoth perimeter defense is something you have access to at the start of the game. I wasn't sure of that. I thought it was true. We need this before we ever use our seamoth. It's non-negotiable. But for now, let's just get right back into the water, double check that we filled our air tanks properly. We did. We want to head southwest to that wreck that we were at previously. We have wrecks to clear out, CMOS to find, battery cell chargers to complete. It's going to be great. I'm hoping that when I finish this biome today, we actually have one of those two things. I'll be very sad if I put in, like, if I finish the biome and there's just nothing. I think this first one is actually just, yeah, it's just this. It's not really a wreck, it's just Life Pod 6. Right? Just past it? Yeah. But that is really a wreck, and we are really going to it and doing it. It's so weird. I almost feel like I'm back in the normal groove of Subnautica. It just took so much effort to get here. I very much feel like I've earned the degree of mastery over the ocean that I feel like I have right now. I also feel like if I slip up, I die in the run ends. Oh, this is the one that doesn't really exist. Yeah, we did this one too, ages and ages ago. Well, there's one to the southwest still. Maybe that one will be the sea moth. And we're basically out of lead, so it's probably not a bad idea to harvest every sandstone I see. I'll need lead eventually for something. That wreck is directly on our left. Oh yeah, it's the scattered wreckage. I, I feel like I did this this run already, but I'm not very confident in that. Yeah, there's just nothing here. Oh yeah, I did. I got nuclear waste disposal much earlier. So all the wrecks here, I actually had just like forgotten the mark. I've done them. That's honestly very good news. I'm glad to see that I was making real meaningful progress in the game, even when I was like just frantically trying to find courts, I guess, is how I would describe the early game. Wanted to click that off, and where are we now? What is this wreck? Beacons? I will I will happily take beacons. I think I still need one more. Yes. That is the beacon blueprint complete. I don't need a lot of beacons, but like I do need a handful of specific beacons, like specifically for the Lost River itself. I need that entrance marked so that I can go to it in a straight line very easily. I do not want to be floundering around in the mountains trying to find my destination. Now we're done with that. I actually just want to head north and sort of circle my starting base, my original light pod location. Because doing that, I feel... I don't know. I don't know why it feels better to me, but it does. I honestly couldn't tell you what most of these early game wrecks are. The later game wrecks to me feel like super distinctive and memorable. There are a couple of early game wrecks that I'll like never really forget about. That is the volcano. I don't want to go down there at all. Ah, I kind of do actually. Oh, it's just scattered wreckage. I believe I've already done this. Yeah, it's how I got my trash can. Right, we're gonna head north to this wreck at 25 meters down. And I'm just grabbing all the salvage I see because I'm so low on titanium. For a second I thought, oh no, I've drowned myself. But check this out, I can breathe oxygen on the surface now. It's absolutely wild. I am the king of this world. 
We are just to the left of where we need to be. There should be a wreck around here. Hey, man, I know you're trying to make a nest and all, but I'll be taking that. He seems a little bit upset. Justifiably so. Where is this wreck? Behind me. About face. You call this a wreck? No, I've got in completely disoriented. The wreck is over here on the left. I was on the surface for way too long, and I messed everything up. I imagine my inventory is mostly full, right? I can hold, like, one more pizza salvage, but yeah. Man, I just keep getting very disoriented looking for this one. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. It's very obvious, too. I feel extra dumb now. I've already got beacons. This wreck is going to suck. I feel very confident in that. I'm not laser cutting right here. That's not happening. Is there an alternate way in? Because I believe there is with this one. Yes. Laser cutting there just looks so, so dangerous. Fine, I'll scan the grab traps. They are funny. Sounds like somebody's making a nest up there. Normally, I'd be like, why are there three grab traps in one room? But now I still can't even make it after scanning everything in here. It's kind of funny. Very harsh difference when you're playing with death run settings. I guess I'm going southwest to this grassy plateau to Life Pod 17. I'm not really sure what else I can do to look for Seamoth and battery cell chargers, because they're not in safe shallows and kelp forests. That's just not the right biome. I need to go into Grassy Plateau's wreck, so I need to go to another Grassy Plateau biome. That said, if I'm passing over a wreck, I may as well stop for it and see what it's like. I have absolutely no confidence. I feel like I'm just getting a small amount of titanium, but hey, it could be better than that. I feel like... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, how am I not seeing it? It should be right in front of me at this point. Where is our entrance? Where is our entrance? That is a damn good question. I'm actually getting sincerely confused here. Is this openable and it just looks wrong? No. There we go. Data pad. Hey, we can make grab traps now. Perfect. It's what I've always wanted. Repair this, see what's going on on the inside. I think we're probably not going to find anything else here. The fact there are graph traps in here bodes poorly for it being actually relevant and useful. I could get a pile of titanium if my inventory wasn't completely full right now. Do you mind? As my inventory is totally full, I'm just going to head home, drop off all this titanium, and then return on the trip. It is 800 meters out of the way. It's a one and a half kilometer round trip, but why explore if you can't carry anything, really? Oh, on my way back, I stopped and took a look in the funny room with the uh, plants. It looks like it is possible for things to spawn in here, because there's a scanner room fragment this time, which I believe is the last one I need to actually make a scanner room. Nice. Uh, that's just titanium, don't really care, I've already got the scanner room. That makes it a little bit embarrassing, they're like, a wreck I spent a long time thoroughly exploring had two fragments on it that I just never saw. Alright, and with all of that managed, it's right back out to Light Pod 17, see you in one kilometer. Yeah, I just picked up a million pieces of titanium instead of going where I was supposed to. I was trying to go where I was supposed to, I just got distracted and now this is my inventory and I'm going back again. I made it 500 meters, that was like halfway. I think the biggest change in all of the most recent videos, why are you so fast? Oxygen. That's a constant, just like I'll get interrupted mid-thought wondering why this fish is rocketing past me. But the biggest change is that in previous videos, I'd be like, I'm gonna edit out me eating kelp for five minutes. But in this video, I'm like, I'm going to rocket around the world with this sea glide and do whatever the hell I want. I'll edit it out when I get to the place I'm going to. Like, the amount of stuff editing out has changed on a fundamental level in terms of scale. 
I'm able to do so much more, and I'm able to do it so much more freely now than I used to be. Unfortunately, I have just run out of bottled water. That's not true. I have one bottle left. That's not great. We're gonna have to catch some more butterfish, or brave the mountains, or brave the floating islands. None of those sound good. They all sound bad, and they're all happening next time. Because today... Man, I've been going for like an hour, haven't I? I don't care. I'm getting the seam off. It just occurred to me that I really should pick up a couple of deep shrooms, but I'm going to get the sea moth because I currently don't have enough to make the perimeter to fit system, and I really need that if I'm making a sea moth. We're finally getting through some unknown territory on our way over to this wreck. I think in my future, I need to make a huge amount of glass for my base, like a positively outrageous amount. And as a result, what I really need to be doing is, like, filling this entire inventory with quartz. Really, what I need to be doing is starting the FCS mining stuff going. That's gonna be next episode. I'm gonna be getting all of the FCS stuff done. But first, I wanna see how far off of getting a moon pool I really am. The answer's a lot further than I would like, but I don't know if it's unobtainable or if it's just far off. Or if it's just unpleasant and requires grinding. It could be any of the three. Bioreactor's neat, but I am thoroughly solar powered at the minute. Don't really need one. Bioreactor's neat, but I'm looking for a sea moth here. No sea moths lying around so far. That's just salvage. Wait. Nope, that's bio. How's my inventory doing? It's fine. I can afford to pick this stuff up. I know I said that I should be getting quartz, but I mean, if I'm getting titanium, it's still valuable. Okay, so we have to get inside of here to scan anything else. That's fine, I've done this one relatively recently. May as well fill my air first, no reason to go in on a new oxygen tank and have no backup. Okay, I believe about halfway up the top part there's a vent or an open door, looks to be correct. Now, we are not seeing anything great in here. I'll take the PDA. Integrating new PDA data. I'll scan for propulsion cannon. Flying on birds could be useful. I'll take whatever's in here. I appreciate the water, because I am pretty much out. This is a very disorienting descent into the ship. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. I am very appreciative of all the water I'm getting. This is actually greatly helpful. Gives me more time to look for batteries and sea malts and other dumb things. Yes, there is something here. Is this the last one or the second and last one? I'm doing well on these. Oh, not as well as I thought I was. Apparently I have two left. Unfortunately, I think that's it for this room. Wait, nope. There we go. Miss Blinds. So now there's one left. I know that I don't need this, I just... I don't know, I want the scan icon to go away so I can sort of push my face into things. And hopefully that will let me tell... Hey, there we go! If there's a location with a battery charger, because it's quite small and easy to miss. Right, that's the battery charger done. That's incredibly helpful, that is a huge step forward. I still need the sea moth, but that one should be pretty easy to find. There'll be some small surface wrecks around these plateaus, and those will just be covered in sea moths, basically. We've done the one major wreck in the area. I'm gonna head west from here, towards the edge of the dunes, looking for sea moths, because I have seen a lot of sea moth fragments just on the western edge hanging out in here before. Like, there's one right there, I think. I think I'm looking at it. Yes. Actually, that could be bioreactor. I think I got baited. And, in fact, it's... How's my inventory space doing? Because I need... Alright, yeah. We're done with anything that's not deep mushrooms, unfortunately. Alright, yeah. There's a sea moth bracket. I'm not completely crazy. I have some vague idea what I'm talking about. No, I have no idea what number I'm going on. I know it's a good one, just not done. I need two more. That's honestly not bad. I think I see another one down here. No, that was a patch of mushrooms. Not even close to a sea moth. I can't go any further out than this. Even this far is a little bit sketch. 
The Reapers patrol very far towards the edge of the dunes. So if I can see it before I get to them, then it's fine. I'm not gonna like go out there looking for it. All right, we need one more sea moth fragment, and then we can see just how far away we really are. I've got to heal even from one hit. There's some stuff around here that hits pretty hard. I want to say that sand shark hit me for 80 something a while ago, and that's the sea moth finish too. Perfect. Absolutely fantastic news. Sea moth and battery charger. We have a backup tank where you don't need to be stressed. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm further down the trench than I wanted to be, that's why I'm scared. Not by the twist deals. The twist deals are fine. I'm scared by the possibility of a Gulper. So far, we appear to be fine. I don't think we pulled any attention from Gulpers. We definitely got attention from twist deals, but that just... I mean, yeah, of course he did. Why do you look so scary in purple? That'll be enough mushrooms. I'll be on my way. Thank you, everybody. Nope, I'm okay. Nope, I'm okay. Leave me be. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, it's fine. I've got him the head. I don't need rubies. I'll get rubies in the sparse reef. I'm almost at the point of the game where the correct thing to do is to just, like, beeline this story and try to finish it so that warpers will stop trying to kill me. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm, I'm off base. I'm not where I want to be. I'm skirting the edge of, a uh, Sparse Reef. Okay, do I want to go into Jelly Shrimps? Maybe, but that's for the future, not for now. For now, I'm heading back to my base. I've got an inventory full of goodies. Things are looking up. No Leviathans are chasing me. Things are looking great. I got the Seamoth done. I've got the batteries done. And before I end the video, let's talk about what it's actually going to take for me to make that Seamoth, right? Because it's not, it's not cheap, it's rough. The Seamoth requires a Plasteel Ingot, three Hydrochloric Acid, two Enameled Glass, four Lead, an Aerogel, and two Lubricants. I don't have enough Deep Mushrooms for that. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I need a lot more of them than I got. Well, I'm going back for more shrooms, boys. And we'll end the video once I'm out of there safe and sounds. Now, I realize that I also need to make an aerogel. I can't get away with just this stuff. I need aerogel, which means I need gel sacks and I need rubies. So I need to step a little bit into the sparse reef as well. If I could find the gel, if I could find gel sacks in here, it would make my life very easy, but it's looking like that's not happening. I'm a little bit spooked about going to the Sparse Reef, because I know there's a gulper under the item, but that's like the very far edge of the Sparse Reef. I should probably be fine. There's obviously not going to be one next to this Reef Back, because Reef Backs are safe. The question is just, how far in do I have to go? I've got him completely turned around. I'm going to go southwest, not south. Southwest pushes me towards, or away rather, from the island while still going deeper in. I have to go deeper in, but I don't want to be near the islands. I want to be in trenches and caves like this, because gel sac spawns on the walls and deep chasms. God, I hate this. Just give me the gel sacs! <laughs> Where are they? This feels like such a good way to die. I'm confident that I haven't tripped into the territory of any Reapers yet, or any Leviathans, rather. However, I'm not confident in the amount of air left in these tanks. I knew that one was filled, and that was not my concern. My concern is I still have to go deeper to find the gel sacks, and I might have to surface around here for air at this point. All right, this is where gel sacks are. I just need to find them. I don't know how many rubies I need for aerogel. Just gonna grab one. If I can grab a second one, I will. What I really need right now is aerogel, though. Where are the gel sacks? There's a wreck nearby, but I've lost my orientation a little bit. Alright, here's the wreck. So coming out from the wreck, near the surface over here. If I look directly down from this edge, there'll be like little... Yes, here we go. 
I really want a second one, though, so I know I can make Aerogel. I don't know if I can do that with just one. There's one. All right, we want to angle towards our base, go up hard. Not hard. We want to angle towards our base and go up at the last second. Yeah, we're in Spooksville, buddy. I think we're far enough down that he won't see us or interact with us. I think if he was going to see us, he'd have done it earlier. So we made it. Got out scot-free on the first one. God, that scares the shit out of me. That is maybe up there with the no-clip reapers for how much I hate something. But we made it. We're out free. We can refill our O2 tanks and go get the stupid mushrooms. This is for a Seamoth! Look at what I'm doing for a Seamoth in Death Run, it's ridiculous. So I did a brief count of my inventory trying to make sure I could left this with enough deep mushrooms. And then I just sighed and dropped everything in my inventory. Because I'm so, like, frazzled and nervous about going down here with the twist deals and the warpers again. That I can't do math. I'm not trusting myself to do math. I'm just throwing anything I don't need on the ground. All that matters is the shrooms, man. What? What? Why is there a reef back in here? What is wrong with my game? Reef back, leave! This is not enough shrooms. Uh, he hit me, but only for six somehow? I'm still going to heal. Please stop that. I need more shrooms. I don't have enough. I was hoping to not go all the way to the bottom of the blood kelp for this, but here we are. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm, fuck this rooms. It's all right, we've drifted past the twist deals twice in a row, because there's, they've got the strats too, apparently. Yeah, if there were more shrooms up here, it would be fine, and I could grab them. There we go. Um, I'm going to take this, even though it's going to fuck up my inventory and kill me. Hey, Ireland, I'm glad you're having a good time. I hope it's a note worth dying for. Mr. Warper, please just stop. Alright, we're safe. We're leaving the Gulfers territory, we're leaving the Warpers territory. I think we should be safe. The Twist Deals are still pissed, but that's fine. Look at them go! Oh, we did it. We got out alive. We went into Gulper Leviathan territory twice, Warper territory twice, Twist Deal territory twice. No, Gulper Leviathans were three times, actually. God, that was... Stressful? I thought the video was done 15 minutes ago. But no, the Seamoth just needs all the deep mushrooms. Oh, there's a twist eel trying to chop me still. I'll be back with you at base making a Seamoth. For those of you who aren't familiar with where I think these spawn points are, Officer Keen's more or less directly underneath a floating island, and more or less 100 meters under the floating island, there's just a leviathan, a gopher leviathan, patrolling in circles around its edge. So I was real close to that when I was down here in these caves at this wreck. And there's another gopher leviathan somewhere along this blood kelp trench. About halfway down is where I encountered it previously. I don't really know where it lives, and it's near the surface of it, so I don't know how deep it goes or how far it patrols. But both of these areas have gulpers now, and it's terrifying. Because they absolutely do one-shot me. And in case anyone's forgotten, I might not be officially on Hardcore mode, but I am playing it as Hardcore mode. Entirely Bronze Man self-enforced. But yeah, I'm really, really stressed about dying as a result. If I die, I might be incredibly upset and continue the run just because, like, I'm not going to replay 20 hours and I would like to see the house finished. But in my heart, it's a Hardcore run. And even with a reinforced dive suit, we're at 200% damage now. I'm pretty sure every Leviathan kills me in one hit. <laughs> I don't think I get to be attacked by Leviathans. 
Funnily enough, there is a Cyclops bridge fragment directly underneath my main room right now. I feel like these things are currently spawning again after I'm already going through the area, because the alternative is that I'm blind and I just don't want to believe that. The reason I'm down here right now is, of course, because I need salt. I've used all my salt making batteries and I need more salt to make hydrochloric acid to make the sea moth. I just realized, whatever was in that time capsule that I opened, I didn't notice it when I was putting it away just now. Because I just put all my stuff into boxes. Including whatever was in the time capsule. I think I briefly thought, huh, this weapon attachment shouldn't be here. Or not this weapon attachment, this vehicle upgrade. So I think I got a vehicle upgrade from that. I'm not sure if I got anything else. Time to go find out. I think I got his Cyclops engine efficiency module. Are you kidding? Is that really what he put in his time capsule? Yeah, because this is mine. All right, cool. I'm glad. I like getting random useless stuff. Let's see what he told me. Greetings from the Ire. For all of you archaeologists out there, I leave you some helpful little goodies. Best of luck and watch out for the Warpers. Now, something I actually did kind of plan is my base is 97 meters deep, meaning it's not more than 100 meters away from this, so this should still be linked up with the easy craft. Ah, it's not. That's a travesty. Well, let's go get it all manually, then. It's times like this that are the reason we have Pen Blueprint as a mod installed. And we finally have battery chargers, which is possibly the most important thing of the episode. The Seamoth might be second to this. My solar panels can't keep up with all of my battery chargers, oh no. Look in the top right. It's honestly not unreasonable in Death Run to just use basis and completely ignore vehicles. Look how much this thing costs. I can lose this quite easily. And I can't even get the prawn suit till I've already gotten into Lost River. That stuff requires, I think, crystallized sulfur and nickel. It's just rough. Alright, it's taken us quite a while. But we can make the Seamoth. It takes a few more ingredients than normal, but we managed to get it done. Right, yes, it needs a power cell. It doesn't start with one. Death Run never stops, does it? Alright, I built a bed and I'm taking a nap for the sun to come back out. I also might have built like four more solar panels to get the power back online. Oh, hey, look at that. Things are great now. So the real issue we were facing is mostly just, uh, solar power doesn't work particularly great at night when you suddenly put a massive drain on the system. Don't do that. It's a bad strat. Now, for real this time, we have a power cell to put in our new Seamoth. Slot that in and bring it down to the moon pool which has been long since built and eagerly awaiting the Seamaw. The power's not doing the best at charging eight batteries simultaneously, but it won't ever have to do this again, I hope. Now, over here, we need to make the perimeter defense system. Sonar is great, I would love to make sonar, but it doesn't actually matter. The same is also true of hull reinforcement, but I'll take a pair of storage modules, a depth module, and perimeter defense any day. Coming around to the upgrade hatch, we can put in a pair of lockers, the perimeter defense system, and the depth module. She goes down to 300 meters. She carries things. She doesn't get eaten by reapers. That last one's pretty important. Is it a little bit cringe to just name this thing the death moth? Absolutely. Are we doing it? Yes. Yes, we are. Now, I don't know what we're doing next time. This is the end of my first five video marathon session. We have 12 solar panels, a massive base, a Seamoth battery chargers, a moon pool. I think we're gonna try to get FCS Studios started. FCS Studios, automated teller machine machine. <sighs> Field Creator Studios or FCS, one of the two, you can't do both. But I think next time we're gonna be doing the FCS mod stuff and get drilling going. Because I feel like I have a safety net now. I'm not too sure specifically what I'll be doing. I have a lot of time to think between now and then. But for now, I'm done. I've been rather incoherent and I finally feel like I'm decently in control of things in this death run setting. 
I hope you've been enjoying the series. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. YouTube algorithm alert. Like, comment, subscribe, Patreon. Go, go, go.